Your sleeping cat. I have a sleeping cat on my lap today, guys. Hello, everyone. Uh, what? Oh, here we go. How are you guys doing today? Hello, Pierre, Joe the Gamer, the Dabbing Savage Victor, Will, American Lumberjack, Alexander, oh my god, chat just exploded. Lucas, American Sniper, Engineering Genius, Doom King, the new boy. I moved the bunny ears up so it can no longer be a... Uh... When's this start? Um... Okay, well it already it already did. Yeah, no, sorry, it's it's okay. This is the weird thing. Like I'm trying to find uh, the title of this is terrible, and the the um, the the picture is pretty terrible. What I'm trying to do is is build a via, uh, hovercraft that carries vehicles in it. I'm not trying to actually build a transport for people. I want to build a hovercraft that carries vehicles, but I couldn't find any that do that. Like I could like the ones that go across the ground, but I want a flying one kind. You'll see. It's we've got blueprint edited sensors here. So this is what I was just doing. Um or at least we should. Yeah. So these these are 200 range sensors. You can see there it's still lighting up. So we should be able to take these sensors and put them on a hovercraft um that stays 200 up in the air. You know what I'm saying? Next logic challenge. Uh, that'll, uh, I'm gonna do it sometime this week. It'll actually be faster about getting the results done. So yeah, but I'm gonna. It's gonna be much more complicated uh, the next one because a lot of people are complaining in this one that they're still not complicated enough. They're saying you know with the whole five second club thing, there's too many people who are all getting in the same position, and so I kind of I kind of agree with that. We need to make them more difficult so that the winners. Um, stand out more let's put it that way if that makes any sense so i i'm not really looking to build anything terribly aesthetic this stream i'm also not planning on necessarily perfect uh i'm also not planning on finishing this this stream but um yeah I think my cat is sick. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So, um. My. <laughs> ah, this would be my life. Okay, I, I, I have to, <laughs> I have to, I have to, give me two, like, two minutes, guys. My cat just threw up underneath my chair. Fun story. So I have to, I have to, I have to deal with that. Um, yeah. I, I don't know if it's just a hairball or actually threw up, but, yeah. So I think, I think she's getting sick. She's been throwing up a few times today, so, uh, I gotta clean that up. Two seconds.
Okay, so while I do this, um, I'm just going to get the culprit. Here's the culprit. Come here. Come here, sweetie. Oh, come here. Oh, come here. So here's the culprit. Yep, she's the, um, you okay? You feeling okay? No, you're not, not feeling too good? Okay. Okay, well that was fun. Uh, for those of you just joining, my cat decided to uh, throw up right underneath my chair in about ten seconds. So that's what we were uh, we were just cleaning that up, and uh, now we'll resume our we'll resume our uh, regular programming. That was fun. Yeah, build an AI cat puke cleaner. Yeah, pretty much. That was that was lovely. Um, yeah. I mean, at least she didn't do it on my lap, which is a good thing. So you know, if she had done it on my lap, that would have been a little bit worse. Um, what about the extra weight from a vehicle? Don't worry, we got. I got a plan for that. Maybe. Sort of. AKA sensors in the vehicle bay. That detect when the vehicle is uh, is up. Okay, yeah, that's two. So I just need three. Of course, now while I stream, it smells like uh, cleaning products. So if I randomly pass out like halfway during the stream, that's probably why I've just passed out from the the fumes from the cleaning products that I now have sprayed underneath my feet. So you know, it's all good though. I love I love the cats. But yeah, she's uh, she's a bit special. Just kind of let her all go, and that was it. I mean, at least she didn't do it in my lap, which is good. You know, that would have been that would have been brutal. Um, but yeah, it's still kind of it's still kind of disturbing. But she must be getting sick. She's been doing it all morning, so I probably have to take her to the vet, make sure she's okay. Anywho, hope everyone else is having a good day. Okay, and you should make a super small jet, and that's jet in a jet in a jet. Um, I mean, jet in a jet in a jet would be kind of ridiculous. I think lag would kill it. Okay, so what the plan is here? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do too much for aesthetics because again, I don't care for aesthetics. Like, I'm not, I'm literally not gonna do like any aesthetics. Um, probably this entire stream. I will eventually, but what I'm planning on doing is just sort of laying out how this is going to actually function because that's the important thing for me and then i'll put it like a bunch of metal on it like just a big metal brick to compensate for any like sort of weight that we're going to add with the aesthetics and then that way um there should be another two right and then that way no matter what i can just um I, when, when we go and add aesthetics later i can take off the metal weight and it should eventually just reach the same point of balance that we get to but the reason why is because i want to focus on making this thing fly on its own so it's gonna have some sort of basic autopilot stuff please making adjusting lift should go as high as it should yeah you'll see logic city um i've, I've been working on the, the some stuff for that i gotta i gotta get back into that too all right so we got this so this is a, a big concrete block 
which is gonna be like the main cargo bay ish one two three four Trying to think how I want to do this. Thinking like one, two, three, four, and then go like one extension in. And then, yeah, this will be good. I'm just trying to figure out for spacing of stuff. So there's a reason, one, two, what I want to do, I'm going to put a gyro in this thing. And it's going to it's gonna hover on a really weird principle. So it's not going to use uh, any infinite stabilizers, but it's going to use a gyro to help it hover, and then a bunch of sensors, but the sensors won't uh, necessarily... Like, there'll be 200 range sensors, but they won't necessarily have to... Actually, I'm just going to put them all in a pile right here. That would be the most sense... Um, any one of the four will make it lift up off the ground, so it should automatically conform to terrain. So if it goes to, like, a dip, it won't dip. Okay, so we'll put... Yeah, we'll just weld these on the outside, and then we'll we'll deal with them later. So, like, that's 200 range. So is that. So is this, if we go to the front. Sup, Cad, how you been? Also, chat... Welcome to the stream. How's it going? The label 54. I've been pretty good. A little tired today. I've had a busy weekend looking at a new house and stuff and planning on moving soon. So that's been exciting, but a lot of work and stuff. Notice me. What's up, Lori? Yeah, it's a hover mothership. Blah, blah. Hover mothership. Yeah, kind of. You'll see. I'm, I'm doing something. I want to do something weird. I was thinking about it. And I, I thought, I don't know why I've never done this. Um, but it's gonna be kind of like Hoverception, but better. Um, but again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say much about it, and I'm probably not gonna get a lot of it done in the stream. Um, but it's gonna it's gonna do some autopilot type stuff and do some auto balancing type stuff. Okay, so we need a brick. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted this like this. Oh, I should have used maintenance ship block. That would look cooler, wouldn't it? That looks way cooler. Okay. Don't worry, we'll just we'll just fix this real quick, guys, real quick. I should have totally used this. I, I keep forgetting that this block exists, but it has a nicer texture to it, and it's not... It doesn't have that big bulky grid pattern like metal does. Metal's got that 4x4 four four grid pattern, which looks really awkward when you get to an edge sometime. This is a nice, clean pattern. Alright, here we go. Yeah. And then we'll paint this. I totally keep forgetting that this block exists. Oh my goodness. Guys, Ugandan Knuckles meme is like, is, is dead. I mean, I even pushed the limit uh, with the spaghetti meme, which was still pretty dead, which someone threw out, pointed out in chat or in uh, in the comments of the video. But yeah, it it's that the the Ugandan knuckles meme is uh, is pretty dead. It was killed. There were too many people who just killed it. But I mean, that's kind of what happens with popular memes. Anything that gets popular just gets killed relatively quickly. I should do this first, so I know where that is. Uh, what? Oh, of course. Yeah, no, that, that made sense. Doesn't matter. We can weld it on. Not like it's going to kill us. PewDiePie kills every meme. I mean, yeah, but the, I guess the, the problem with PewDiePie's ability to kill memes is the fact that the guy's so flippin' popular that, um... Like, if he mentions anything, it becomes it becomes popular on its own, right? Like, there's so many things that he can mention, and everyone's just, like, jumps on board just by the sheer number of people that, that know him, right? 
Jake Paul makes stuff popular? I mean, I guess Jake Paul makes stuff popular around like among 12 year olds. Not really among adults though, or young adults or, you know. Funny thing is there's an avatar to be chat that is, wait, what, what? Notice me, you are the best. What's up, Harry Jones? Welcome to the stream. Okay, let's just paint this a, a gray color so it kind of just doesn't kill my eyes. Ah, looks good. See, this actually looks more like a spaceship, which I'm excited about. And then I'm going to put a gyro on the back, a big metal brick somewhere-ish, middle. Eventually, I'm going to actually turn this into a spaceship. Well, not a spaceship, but like um, a, tr a hovering ship that can potentially fly. I'm not sure yet about the whole flight thing. Definitely hovering thing, definitely autopilot thing. Both of those would be essential. Um, of course, I forgot to keep my center line when I did all this. Okay, that's one. There's my center. Center lines just help. Easier to figure out on a creation where you're doing stuff. Okay, so I'm going to put a gyro somewhere on the back here. Make a bus. Make the you bus. You're my favorite YouTuber, Khan. Thanks. I hope his channel will die. You mean you mean mine? Banter Squad, what's up, buddy? Who else is not wearing socks right now? Um, I'm wearing slippers, actually. Uh, if I was wearing socks, I'd be standing in cat puke, so I'm wearing slippers. Is this like the Hyperloop? No, I'm not. It's not like the Hyperloop. I know what the Hyperloop is. Um, that's Elon Musk's magical project. Oh, wait, no, that's the other one, isn't it? Is this called the Hyperloop? There's, like, the one that's done by universities, because I know my university has a team in the Hyperloop thing. Um, but yeah. Okay, we're gonna do that. I think, do you need... Can I do a gyro with electric engines? I know it works well with gas engines. I mean, uh, whatever, we'll just do it with gas engine. And then this balances the weight. Okay, and then... Gyroscopic stuff. I mean, we'll just we'll just make it out of caution blocks because that'll look cool. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, that'll be relatively big. It'll take up this whole back area, which won't really matter. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That would have been so much easier. Okay, so this should be an inner square, which it is, good. And this should be an outer square which it is, and they should tilt at different spots, which they do, and then we just weld this back to the ground. I know there's ways to make more compact gyros. I don't I don't really need a compact gyro. A gyro is, so a lot of people use um, the infinite stabilizer glitch, which is just like a bunch of suspension pieces all kind of done up together in a good way i mean brent batch could tell you more about it he's kind of the guy i think he's whoa my webcam just went hello thank you um he, he could probably tell you more about it. i'm pretty sure he's the guy who figured it out but the infinite stabilizer uh, basically allows you to keep yourself straight up no matter what um there's another way to do that in scrap mechanic which is by creating a gyro which is sort of this creation so it's free floating on a bearing this way and a bearing that way but if we put objects spinning in the middle really really fast the spinning objects in the middle will stay horizontal with um with gravity just because of the way scrap mechanic physics calculates stuff so it basically makes a gyro i don't know who figured out the first gyro that I couldn't tell you that one but 
It lets you do cool stuff. So we can do this. One, two, three. And this one will tilt. Yeah, so we're good. So then we hook both of these. Whoops. Two, three. And then we hook, like, weight into this. And hopefully I'll be able to show you what I'm talking about. The only pain with the gyro is it has to be active as soon as you start up your creation. And it has to be, your creation has to be, like, on the lift. So it's on a flat plane. Because the gyro kind of takes some starting angle. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so if we do this, and then we jack this up. So now, like... That should always stay horizontal. You can see as I push the lift up. So see how the lift's creating an angle? The That that red plane still stays horizontal. See that? Right? Same sense we can take the lift. Now if you slam it, like you really hit it into something, you could screw the gyro up. But see the gyro basically, and if we go sideways like this, it'll do the same thing, right? So it'll stay horizontal that way. And we almost completely smack... Oh no, we're good. We see we got ground clearance. So if we get to this angle, which we never will, because it'll stabilize itself before then. Wait, you see what it's doing? Isn't that cool? So that's that's what a gyro is in scrap mechanic. It's basically it's basically like a, a the easiest way to put it in scrap mechanic is it's a gravity meter. Like it senses the direction of gravity. So you'll see them on tons of creations. This isn't like some new concept or anything. The thumbnails are so clickbait. I don't I don't think my thumbnail's that clickbaity. I mean, it's what I'm, it's what I'm building. Just doing it differently. But anyway, so that's our gyro. So we need that. Uh, I'm going to put some little stubs here just to keep the thing on the ground. So we don't, you know, because as we, as we build bigger and bigger, the game's going to, it doesn't like stuff touching the ground. So we're just going to do this. Okay. So here's the plan. It's going to hover 200 blocks off the ground. Which it's not at right now. So we need a big metal brick. So let's give it a metal brick. Because um, I need I need fake weight. And like we'll just kind of try and balance the weight a little bit. So we'll go right to there. But we can't go that close. Okay. How close can I get? Whoops. Let's do 16 off the middle actually. Because then that that's easy. So that brings me to there. Right? Yeah. And then same sense. This should be 16 back from here. Okay, good. And then we'll just uh, expand this out. Okay, I don't want to go that far. You know what? Let's just... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 79... This is just okay. So here's here's the plan. Here's what my ultimate my ultimate goal is because I'm gonna tell you guys now because we're not gonna get it done in the stream. But here's the ultimate goal. I got a suggestion a while ago to do um, a vehicle that controls another vehicle, like a, a a parent child type vehicle. So you have a vehicle like a truck or a car or a jeep or a buggy or whatever, and it has controls on it, and then it gets picked up by another vehicle. And when it gets picked up by that vehicle, it then controls the other vehicle. Now, I've done this once with Hoverception. So I made a hovercraft that deploys from another hovercraft. But you never have to get out of the first hovercraft. When you're in the first hovercraft, it always um, it always picks you up. This one's going to be different because this hovercraft here, the bigger one, is going to fly way, way above you on its own. And you can call it down with the remote control button and then it'll fly down and then pick you up and then you can go back up to the regular height that's the plan okay you're making complicated stuff you do not know the way of doing something not complicated that's the blimp i mean kind of the blimp was one i did the blimp i've done hoverception i did jetception with moombo um this is going to be a little bit different than all those it's gonna be cool it's gonna have autopilot like and by autopilot i mean it's just gonna do like lazy circles around the map um, I'm going to do also uh, some other stuff. It's going to come pick up the buggy, but it's going to stay up in the air until you call it down and then it'll 
come down. So I think that's enough weight. Like I think I think that'll simulate uh, maybe one more layer. I'm trying to think of just all the aesthetic stuff. Now the thing is if I balance it to this amount of weight, then if I don't have this amount of weight, I'm gonna have to add st you know what? No, this is gonna be too much. Let's just let's just take off one layer. That should be enough weight. Okay, so let's start this is I'm gonna keep these blocks for engine stuffs. Probably gonna need more than just that, but anyways. Yeah, it's not gonna use any glitches. Can you look at it so it could go to destinations of the map or go forward? Well, so here's the thing. Doing the whole, like, moving around while you're not in the seat, that's not a problem. Like, having it go forward, um, you know, if it senses the edge of the map to turn away from the edge of the map, you can do all that kind of stuff. And and I plan on doing that, like, have the autopilot really just, you know, drive forward or whatever. You can set the amount of time you want it to go forward and then go left or whatever else and do loops. Um, but the problem is you can't make something that goes to a specific location on the map because as far as I know, there's no like way to determine your grid position on the map there like you have a grid position on the map but i don't think there's any way to actually say this is my grid position it just doesn't it doesn't work so unless that gets changed then yeah there's not much you can do about it This is not going to be enough thrusters, by the way. I'm just, I'm just saying that. At least I don't think it will be. We also need a second set of sensors because this is never going to touch the ground. So the second set of sensors is the uh, inner. Yeah, we have it here. This is good. So they'll be the inner sensor, and they'll be set to like a 20 block range. So that'll be the default height. So it never goes below 20 blocks, and it never goes, um, and, but it's normal height that it wants to be at, it'll be 200. That's what, these guys are blueprint edited, I can't touch them. I think I can paint them. I can paint them, right? Yeah, they're still 200 range. So those are your, your super high hovering sensors, they're at, uh, blueprint edited to 200 range. I have blueprint edited 250s as well, but like, don't really need them. Okay, so inner, outer. Inner outer. Inner outer. The developers should make a module in logic blocks that detects your position compared to something. Yeah, like the the in logic block the logic bot. I just looked at that sensor. I'm gonna have to kill it. Dang it. Um in logic bots, there is a device that does that. There's a, a GPS thing. That allows you to see where you are in a grid pattern on the map and it's super fantastic and convenient um but yeah there is nothing like that in scrap mechanic it would be nice i i wouldn't i wouldn't lie it would be sweet to be able to figure out your gps position but uh alas we can't do that so anyways we're gonna put circuits in the back because you know we'll need a circuit room we're gonna need more of that we're gonna need some of this um okay so Inner, outer, inner, outer. Inner, outer, inner, outer. This is just really for ease of hookup. We don't really need all these, but like, whatever. So I can play around with stuff at the back and not have to worry about it. Same sense, we'll have ore gates for hooking up all the thrusters and stuff. Okay, so if we go like this, whoops, yeah, whoops, 
Yeah, so the, the gray ones will be the high altitude sensors, and actually we'll make those blacks, so they stand out a little bit easier. And the white ones are the low altitude sensors. A GPS would not make sense in scrap mechanics. It's going to be open world and have endless terrain and survival. It would be weird to a feature like that in creative. Yeah, but at the end of the day, when they're generating an open world survival, they need to know, like, how are you going to, let's say you build a base, okay, and it's an endlessly generated world. How are you going to know how to get back to your base? Are you just going to, like, just based on landmarks? Because if that's the case, you're going to get lost so fast with repeatable tiles. Like, the world, the world, the way they built the scrap mechanic world generator is all tile-based, right? So yeah, it's going to be procedurally generated fine, but you're still going to be procedurally generating tiles from a list of tiles. And their list of tiles is not that large, and even if it was huge, you'd still need a ton of tiles on that list to make everything unique so you're gonna run into duplicates and you're gonna lose where your stuff is so quickly like they're gonna have to have some way to figure out where your stuff is which in my mind would be some sort of coordinate based system I don't know maybe I'm crazy but that's that's what I think I think they need some sort of a map or a coordinate type system or whatever If I type something really long, it will most likely be read because it looks like a question, but it really isn't. I mean, kind of. But, I mean, you get a knuckles with the queen wants a shout out. So, I mean, you know, and please can I shout out. Please can I a shout out from Maxman. Nice build. Thanks, man. Not even, like, haven't really done much. What's up, pro gamer? Welcome to the stream. All right. We're gonna need like another row of thrusters on the outside of that, but don't worry, we're, we're gonna, these will eventually become pods of some, I don't know, something. This is where we're gonna carry stuff. It'll work. Okay, so here's the plan. Uh, we need stuff always on. Give me our always on. Okay, so that's always on. Question is how much do we need always on? Yeah, I don't, I don't really know how much we're going to need always on. So let's just uh, start with, I don't know, all of them. And then we'll, we'll sit in a seat in case this becomes really bad. And then what we're going to do is then we'll have thrusters hooked up for the initial hovering height of 20. And then you can hit another button to go to high altitude height, which just swaps which sensors you're using. Um, but we need to hook up a gyro too. And we need roll thrusters and pitch thrusters that adjust for when the gyro goes haywire, so there's that as well. So just some stuff we're gonna need to do here, but I don't know if this, this probably, I mean, this is what, seven, eight, 32 thrusters max power? I don't know what the power ratio is to weight. All right, well, I mean, this is probably, probably a bad idea. This is gonna be the emergency off switch. I, why, this is such a dumb idea. I just picture this as being, oh no, hold on, this is actually a brilliant idea. Never mind, never mind guys, never mind guys. I'm, sec I'm guessing myself, there we go. We just turn that on. Okay, and then we go from here. Don't worry, we're gonna, this is gonna be test number one. I love these five-hour streams. Yeah, this isn't going to be a five-hour stream. Don't worry. But I do I do want to get... Because um, I'm not going to do anything aesthetic this stream. That's all going to come later. I'm just going to do control stuff. But I want to get this thing flying on its own with the way I want it to hover. So I want it to hover in a cool way. Which I'm going to explain after I actually make it work. Because I don't know if it's going to work or not. Okay, cool. Gyro's working great. All right. That doesn't even do, that doesn't do anything. Or even, or even close, we're not even close. Fantastic, that's good. Alright, so that's kind of what I wanted. The heavier you make something, the more um, stable it's going to be in this game. Okay, so we need that. And we're going to put another layer of thrusters on the outside. 
But we're only going to hook up half of them. And the other half we will use for control thrusters. So let's just do that real quick. Right? Perfect. Whoops. What would be really nice, and I know you can do this with mods or you can blueprint edit at the original object that you're placing, but it would be nice to be able to change the power of your stuff in inventory before you actually place it. Especially when you're doing big builds with like a million different things that are all supposed to be the same but set to the same power. Because otherwise you're just sitting there and you just got to constantly readjust it like over and over again. So it's like, what do you do? Like this, see? I am sunburned? Well, not really. I just, I don't have white light on me. If you're wondering why my face is red, it's because I got red curtains. So over that way, well, that way I've got a red light, well, orange light with a red lampshade on it. And then that way I've got purple curtains. So the light coming in that way uh, makes my face go red. I promise I'm not like dying and I'm not sunburnt. It's Canada, it's winter, it's cold. It, it's really cold out. It actually sucks out. But yeah, I just got, I don't have a proper white light set up, but um part of when we move that's that's kind of the thing is right now like i still i live in an apartment with my girlfriend so we're planning on moving to a house where we've got more space and uh, i can have a proper office for youtube stuff so i can get a proper lighting set up and set up a proper green screen and all that kind of dealio but i can't do that where i live now i just don't have the space for it and um i don't have I don't have the room behind my desk. Like, right behind my desk is a window that I cover up with stuff. So I have purple curtains there. It's snowing where you are? Yeah, it's it's uh, it was snowing, like, all day yesterday. It's probably still snowing today, to be honest. I closed the curtains, but yeah. It's, uh, it's not a good time in Canada this year. Alright, so that's four more. We'll do another four on this one. Ba, 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 ba. You guys wonder about the bus? Don't worry, the bus. This week, I'm going to get the bus out for y'all. So y'all can see my, my sweet bus. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, so that that's enough to fly. That's not enough weight, then. I need more weight. I don't... I don't... It should be way more than that to fly. I think. I'm going to do another two layers of metal brick weight. I want to have lots of leeway room on this transport for extra weight. Okay. Alright, I need to get more water because uh, talking makes my throat dry. Man, that's still able to lift that, eh? Holy cow. That gyro is really stable. If I hit that with the hammer, does it go off? It used to. I wonder if their update changed that or not. Oh, no, it still does. Now, see, that's the thing. It, it's Gyros have, like, a neutral buoyancy in Scrap Mechanic. So if I hit it with the hammer, it sets off that neutral buoyancy. It's weird. Weird physics. It's good stuff. All right, let's uh, let's add more weight because why not? I'll eventually have like a whole body on this ship too, so I mean that'll contribute to this weight factor, and it's gonna carry a car or some kind of other vehicle. Not sure yet. Maybe multiple vehicles. Who knows? Maybe if I'm feeling adventurous. All right, that shouldn't lift off, right? Are you serious? Is that neutrally buoyant? Holy cow. It's barely, barely falling. Wow. Okay, yeah, I can't lift off. Okay. I'm going to get some water. I'll be back in two seconds.
Sorry guys, it's not an attorney. My girlfriend just woke up, so she was talking to me about cat puke stuff. Cause you know, gotta take care of the kitties. All right, so let's make this thing hover, which is gonna take like no effort. Okay. So we're gonna put, I'm gonna attach these to the outside thrusters just cause I'm gonna use them. And the inside thrusters I'm gonna use for other stuff. Um, for a second, well like it'll be a second level which we're probably not gonna need yet. And that'll be like helping to offset, Ah, uh, actually no, I'm gonna offset weight somewhere else. So I'm gonna use those inside ones for something else though. I do need them still. Is it slowly lifting off on the one end? Probably. Another hover vehicle? Yeah, I've been, I don't know, I've been enjoying making hover vehicles. This one's gonna be a little more logic based, but still like a very useful, this one might be my most useful hover vehicle yet, but it's gonna be big. Got a nice brick worth of stuff. So I think this will be good. Okay. So... I need like a selection criteria, which I'm just going to need some circuits is what's going to happen. So I'm going to need like an AND gate and an OR gate, and then another another AND gate and an OR gate here, and then an AND gate and an OR gate, and then like that's like here or it's like this. So this is a NOT gate and this is an OR, and so this is our like, okay, well actually, you know what, I'm just going to, we're going to have a bunch of circuits. I'm going to stop trying to make this whole symmetrical thing. Uh, okay, so this is like this, this is like that, and then this and that. So this is the OR gate. This is the NOR gate of the OR gate. This is an OR gate. This is an OR gate, and this is an AND gate, and another AND gate. So that goes to there, that goes to there, that goes to there, and that goes to there. Okay. This or this or this or this goes on the inside, and this or this or this or that goes on the outside so this is our like um majumner discombobulating selecting device guy of science so if we hit this switch here it'll switch it'll it's basically it's switching which sensors are active so like if we oh right we're not on a lift so let's put this on a lift i'll show you what i'm talking about so if we put this on a lift and we go up above the 20 block sensor range then these inside gates are no longer active, but we can switch to the outside gates. See what I'm saying? Scrap mechanic is still in early access. It will be on console one day. It would need to be fully released first. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, they would they would need to 100% fix it uh, on, on PC before they even consider getting it onto console. There's still so many performance issues on PC that trying to put it on console now would just be a nightmare. Okay, so that's that. We'll hook this into here. And then, uh, yeah, now we're going to make stuff fly. So... Depending on which one of these... These both go to an OR gate. And this OR gate... goes to inside one. Okay, and, and inside one. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, no, no, it's good. Thanks, thanks game. Inside one, and then inside one over here, I'm pretty sure. And inside one here. And inside one up here. I think. So this should hover at like 20 blocks in height. 
all four sensors right now are acting like together so it doesn't matter which one yes yeah, so that's 20 blocks and then if i hit the two switch it should switch to 200 blocks yeah so it'll keep going up until we get to 200 now iron con bat con spider cod cod cedar what would you do for parallel building a scrap mechanic like mirror function for building that would be sweet I mean, having a mirror function would be great. Nice hovering. Guys, the reason it hovers stable is because it's so large. It's slowly tilting, you can see, to the back, like, to where the gyro is, because the weight's uneven. See? You can see it more that way. But we'll fix that. Don't worry, we're not there yet. This thing is really slow to move, though. I kind of want to change that. I kind of want to put all four. Yeah, we're going to put all four. Okay, thanks. So we're just going to delete this, because, like, why not? And then delete this. Okay. And then do that. Okay, so now it should, like get to altitude a lot quicker okay that's a little quick but okay it's a little too fast now well we can just you know what, let's just drop these down a little bit in power and then call it a day and then I think, I think, because we can just play with the power levels a little bit. Again, it's going to be tuned for weight. But uh, it should be fine. Okay, that. And then we need to set up sensors on the gyro so we can do gyro stuff. Because, like, gyro stuff is important. Otherwise, like, this is, like, old school stabilizing. But the old school stabilizing. My god, my English today is so bad. I can't, I can't speak words. Okay, so... Jeebus. We need to tilt this, so we need a tilt detector here, and another tilt detector here, which are mounted to that guy. And I believe we can do this like this, and put... Where's a bolt? Here we can go like this. Put a bolt on it? Yeah, totally. And then another bolt here. And another bolt here. And I don't think these will interfere with the spinning motion. Or are they? I don't think those are hitting. Very good English. I know. My my English is always terrible. Fun fact, Con and I had a gaming channel together before we started this one. It was called CosmoCon. Yeah, it was. And, uh, and we actually decided to start a gaming channel because Cosmo came up to me one day and was like, Yo, see this Quebble Cop guy? Yeah, we could totally do what he's doing. So that's, that's kind of how that all started. Okay, so like, see... Oh boy, that's all screwed up. This is another build with a gyro, though. Uh, last build with a gyro was the uh, uh, cargo plane. And uh, before that, it was the blimp. And uh, Cosmo screwed up the blimp on me. Not the cargo plane, though. Okay, so that's that. And then we just need... I'm just going to put like a bar here. Oh, whoops, I didn't even center that. I'm terrible. What is this game? What is this scrap mechanic we play? Okay, we do this, we do that, we do this, we do that. So this is old school, guys. This is like, if you didn't know how to do suspension glitches, well, this is actually, I like this better than suspension glitches because this is like more, I don't know, we want to call it natural. Okay, so <laughs> this is a gyro now that detects direction. So now we need more thrusters. And then we'll just put another bar here just to, you know, keep the people from touching it. It should, it should be fine. I don't think it'll have... Actually, no, it's probably going to have issues sliding along that, won't it? Should put this back a little bit and just increase the sensor range on these guys. The two. I just want to make sure it doesn't accidentally, like, get stuck. 
Like, if you put a 90 degree controller against a, a wall, it doesn't really work. And that would suck. Yeah, no, the channel didn't work out, but, like, that was just because we had terrible times dealing with schedules and stuff. It was very, it's very difficult running a channel with two people. Because, like, you have to work with each other's schedules and, like, find times to record and stuff. And it's very difficult. It's a lot easier uh, when you're one person because you can just do whatever the heck you want. Uh, whenever the heck you want to do it. Anyways, okay, so this is, this is Stabilization Central. So, if it tilts forward, it's one of these guys. Uh, it's actually the top one. If it tilts backwards, it's the bottom one. If it tilts to the right... Uh, if it tilts to the right, the gyro is going to be this bottom one, and if it tilts to the left, it's going to be this top one, I think. Like, I'm not positive, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. We'll turn this off and be able to check. So there's the gyro. If I push this up, it tilts to the left, so we can detect that. And, uh... Oh, crud muffin. Okay, and then if I tilt it this way... Yeah, see, we're tilted to the right, so it detects that. And then forward. So this is tilting to the back, because the gyro is going to be at the, the back. What? Why are we not? See, now I've, now I've caused interference somewhere. Probably right here. Yep, can't have bolts on the front back pitch. At least I don't think so. I think they're they're jamming up in it, which is weird because I've done that before. I did that on the cargo plane one. Oh no no no! Get back here. Maybe maybe it might, my my. The reason you want the bolts is you get a faster response time, but I might be might be crazy. Is that actually what's causing it? You should just make the inner ring smaller. I mean, I could. I could make the inner ring a whole bit smaller and then it won't matter. Because, see, the problem is when it tilts up like this, the bolt's getting hung up on the inside of that. Um, which is causing the issue. I mean, I could make the inner ring one, one whole layer smaller. Actually, you're right. That wouldn't make any difference to how it works. But it would make it function properly. Uh, would it? I'd have to make all these arms smaller too. Yeah, let's let's do that. We can make it a little smaller. I, I mean, the bigger you make it, the more the longer it keeps its stability, the more stable it stays. But it should be fine at max speed with smaller stuff. Oh, that's another problem too. This isn't balanced. There we go. You need if you got weight here, you need weight over here. Oh, my OCD is gonna kill me. I don't actually have OCD, but I'm gonna pretend like I do because this stuff kind of bothers me. Okay, there we go. And then uh, we're gonna do that. Yeah. And then we go like this. And then this side will go inner. Okay, yeah, no thanks. Thanks. There, there we go. Now it's uh, free-floating for sure. Whoops. Screwed that up. Like, I don't think these were causing the issue. I don't think it was colliding there. Even though it looks like it should, I don't think it does. And the, the main reason I say that is because I've done that a bunch of times on other gyros and never had issues. Alright, let's see. Turn this on. Yeah, that's better. And then I just gotta change these to two. Okay, so that's pitched forward. It still takes a lot to get there. If 
But it's not tilting. What is it not what is it not tilting on? It's your B day and I'm eleven and it would be awesome if the world if you could give me a shout out. What's up, Tech Industries? Happy birthday. Happy eleventh birthday. I don't remember what I did on my eleventh birthday. Um, definitely wasn't playing scrap mechanic. That's for sure. Why is that not working all of a sudden? I'm. Uh, did I did I really screw it over that bad with the bolts? Worked beautifully until I added stuff to this creation. Yeah, it's really it's really the bolts causing the collision. Are you serious? Okay, well. There's a solution to that. Uh, here's the solution. We do one of these guys. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm adding too much weight on the one side. I'm not evening it out over here. That's why it's tipping. Okay, so now the whole thing becomes a not gate system instead. And then these two, the front and back. Wait, what? Why are you not active? Oh, there is no bottom sensor. Yeah, that would help. And then it's just it just becomes a not gate system. So instead of the sensors looking for the bolt, they just look for when uh, that beam is not in front of them. If that makes any sense. The ones on the side can still look for the bolts because the bolts don't seem to interfere with it there. It's just this. I don't know why though. My uh, when I built the the um, uh, the cargo plane, I never had that issue, and I, I used the same kind of. Oh no! I want you back. Come here. Okay, and then we'll turn this on. Still has to tilt pretty far for that to get out of range, doesn't it? Alright, well let's do it with these. trying to make I'm trying to make it like very very small you'll see why it, it, everything's gonna matter guys everything's gonna matter at some point in time don't worry can you have a shout out what's up ninja plays welcome to the stream isn't switching to pipes instead of bolts making it too much detection yeah no I, I it's it I agree is that see there we go okay that's that's very minimal we'll so see they're both on one's off right off the bat yeah Actually, I need these as AND gates again. I just need to flip which direction they are. Because this is... No, this is right. This is tipping forward. Yeah, yeah. And lower that. And now it's tipping backwards kind of-ish. Although it, it shouldn't be detecting a tip backwards. But yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. If we let go of this, it'll just hover at 20 blocks in height, actually. Not really a big deal. Can you come back down? No. That's not 20 blocks, bro. Are, is it actually that well? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's, like, super well balanced. It's, it's, it's amazing. Can we... Can we... Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Let's just, let's just add some more weight here. Like, another layer. This is going to be a pain if I end up making this lighter than this amount of metal, but I don't think I will because I plan on adding a lot of um, decoration type stuff once we've got the, the driving mechanics worked out. Okay, so this is good. We're moving up. Okay, now we need, we need pitch controls to do stuff. Tilt the sensors like 
Oh yeah. Whoops. Yeah, no, you're right. You guys are never mind. You're right, you're right. Oh, I don't know. That's how I did it on my other one. That's you're right. I didn't I didn't and you're Yeah. I really need to pay attention to you guys more often. That's how I that's how I did it on the That's how I did it on the uh, the cargo plane. I didn't even do I didn't even do bolts anywhere on the cargo plane cuz you don't need them. It's and I can even make the gyro bigger again and and inherently give it more stability. If only I had read chat more often. There's a lesson to be learned here, guys. It's that if you read chat more often, sometimes you get good ideas. I don't read chat good more often. Good in, oh my god, I can't even talk today, guys. I'm just going to stop talking now cuz like Clearly, every time I try and talk today, just a bunch of gibberish comes out, and, like, the words are there, but there's just, there's no sentence structure, or grammar, or anything like that. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna fix all this. Yeah, no, that's how, that's how I did it before, you're 100% right. You tilt the sensors down, and then you can really get them to a fine tooth angle, where, uh, they really balance out properly. Yeah, chat knows all, I know, right? Like, chat is, chat is god. Finally, the mods hate me. Well, if you're spamming emojis in chat, then that's probably why the mods don't like you. I mean, that's just, you know. If you fill the whole chat window with emojis so no one else can see anything but your emojis, then yeah, I could see I could see why the mods don't like that. It is kind of against the rules to spam chat, so you know. Okay, we're good. All right. Okay, perfect. How do I build so good? Um, probably just practice. I mean, I have like almost what 1600 hours in scrap mechanic or something like that some ridiculous number So I mean, you know, you, the more you practice the better you get at builds and stuff and that's I just have a lot of practice That's all okay. So this is this is the solution that I didn't this is how we do it. Okay Okay, so we just tilt that, tilt that, and then like, I don't know, like 15 degrees, maybe less. Oh right, I gotta be off a lift for me to figure that one out. They're gonna actually, that's gonna interfere. Whoops, I hit the gyro. Does that interfere? Eh, not really. Okay, so the question is, I guess, how sensitive is it? So let's let's just see at what point in time do those plug in. No, stop flying away. My goodness, I, I'm so sick of you fl Okay, listen, listen, listen. Stop flying away. Okay, that's pretty steep angle. I don't want to have to be that steep before it detects it like it should detect it okay what's well, flat let's go flat i know this seems you know what we can actually adjust this afterwards can't we so let's just leave it at 30 let's just leave it at like 25 for now or 20 maybe 25 20 20 let's do 20 okay and then your pitch if you tip forward this is gonna go up that's gonna go yeah this one's forward this one's backwards Okay, good. And then we do the side ones. Uh, yeah. 
side one's just mounted to a bar again outside the entire gyro itself. Why not black bearings? The bearings are black. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I always paint my bearings black. I, I paint my bearings black because I find it looks silly when you have like an orange bearing sticking out of a creation. Okay, and then this one goes up. I know you don't really, actually, you know, we don't even need it on both sides. I don't know why I'm... And these ones are mounted to the ship, so it's like, whatever. Okay, and then this one, like this. And if you're asking why black bearings, it's just because it looks cool. I don't know, it looks better than regular bearings. Okay. Okay. These ones will probably have to be 30 because they're a little bit further away. This one's got to be down a whole block because not even putting it in the right spot. So, you know, there's that. What recording software do I use? I use a piece of recording software called Marillus Action. But if you guys want to know, like, I do have a, an FAQ section in my Discord, uh, which talks about all the stuff I use for stuff. In case you are curious, I mean, you don't have to go there, but yeah. Like, I have no problem answering your questions, but, um, yeah, I have, like, my PC specs and stuff there and all that stuff, because I know people usually want to know that kind of thing. These ones actually need to be even less. Amazing. 15? No, they're still both odd. 10? 10. So now if I tilt it to the right and left, I can adjust it, whatever. Okay. So now we need all the control thrusters to manage these guys. These things. Which... I don't know if I want to put them on the outside or the inside. I think I want to put them in here. Like right up on the front. Like that. You can use four there. Pretty much, 100%. How's it coming, Ken? It's, it's a con, whatever. I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce my own name today. This is how we're doing. Um, no, we're doing good. I mean, you know, we got, we got like a gyro hooked up, which took way longer than it should have. And uh, it, it hovers, which took way longer than it should have. And then we'll put some fake thrusters on it, which will take probably way longer than it should. And uh, and then when we're done all that, we'll, uh, we might have something that does something. Okay, so outside is going to be roll, inside is going to be pitch. Pitch is going to be much more powerful than roll, but that's okay. We'll adjust the thruster powers. We'll start with them super weak, and we'll, we'll increase them as time goes. Basically, what's going to happen is the hovercraft is going to hover using any one of the four hovering sensors in... Yeah, Cosmo's laughing at me. Um, so anyways, the, the hover sensors are basically what they're going to do is uh, they're going to learn how to talk first. And then once they learn how to talk, then they'll create sentience. And then uh, Cyberdyne systems will come out of the woodwork and uh, and that's what will happen. No, so I... God, I... I, I I'm so unfocused today, guys. I'm trying to build and trying to talk and trying to pay attention to life and, like, focusing on breathing all at the same time. And, I mean, it's just a lot of things to do. Have you ever noticed, like, when you really focus on... T guys, please, can you subscribe to me, guys? My B-Day also con gave a blue flame a shout-out. He's she an awesome mod. You're lucky to have him slash her. Yeah, blue's, blue flame's a great mod. Try not to advertise it by channel, though. Like, don't self-promote. I have a section on my... By the way, there's a section on my Discord for self-promotion, too. There's there's a section on the Discord for just about everything you want to do. Uh, just letting you know. I think this is right. Tips to the right. Then, no, this is left. I think these ones are cross-wired. Tips to... Hold on. The gyro's flat. If your whole creation tips to the right... Then your creation does this. But the gyro stays flat, which means this... Oh, it is the right sensor that tips up. 
I do have this backwards. Tips to the right, tips to the left. Okay, and then we're going to wire these boys into something here like this. Anyways, right, what was I saying? Uh, stuff, yeah, no, sensors, hovering, right. So the whole thing's gonna hover on one set of sensors, and that'll be the inside one, actually, we need two, two gates here. But it'll hover on one set of sensors, so no matter what, if any one of the four corner sensors is activated, it's going to hover at that height. So normally, when you make a hovercraft, you have, like, one corner sensor, activate one corner, one corner sensor, do another corner, so on and so forth. And then that inherently gives you stability, because as you tip to the one corner, it does, it pushes on that one corner, the sensor detects the ground and pushes back. The problem with that design is, when you hit a bump or something, like rough terrain, then as it hits that rough terrain, it'll pit, it'll pitch that one corner of the hovercraft up, right? But, with this design, the gyro controls the pitch, and all four sensors, if one sensor is at a low point, then the other three will keep you up. If that makes sense. So laggy. If it's laggy, refresh. I'm watching the stream too, like I always watch my own streams. It's, it's fine for me, so it should be good. If you're talking about the creation getting laggy, it's not laggy yet. It might later, but... But anyways, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. If that makes any sense to anybody. I'm trying to get my thoughts collected. I, I know what I'm doing in my head, sort of-ish. Why, this is why I'm terrible at streaming because I just, I, I'm trying to explain everything and I just don't get it. Okay, so if we tip to the left then we need to activate the right guys. These outer guys. And these outer guys. And we're probably going to need downward thrusters on the other side to push it down. But we'll deal with that in a bit, depending on how this goes. Did I screw that up? I connected that to the inside up here, didn't I? Oh, no, I did outside. Okay, good. And if we tip to the right, and if this is wrong, we'll just rewire up the sensors. I really don't. It doesn't matter. We tip to the right, we activate these guys, and we activate these other guys up front. Okay, good. Now, if we tip forward, uh, tip them forward. We activate the front guys. Okay. Yep. No. Good. And then if we tip forward, we activate the other front guy. Uh. Yep. And then tip backwards, we activate the other the back guys. Uh, which is like this this guy and this other guy. Where's the other guy? This guy. Okay. In theory, this should do something. It's a good start. Alright, so this should hover at 20 blocks, and then it should automatically adjust itself to the gyro's positions. Which we might have to adjust. Yeah, it's a big craft door. It's going to carry other stuff, too. But right now, we're just working on the controls. Okay, so it's it's tipping forward. Is the sensor even activating? Oh, it is. They have like they have like the pushing power of nothing. Okay, so that's that's problem number one. These guys need to get cranked. Still have no pushing power. This is good. So it is it is activating on the fact that it's tilted here, but it's not it doesn't have enough pushing power to do anything about it. Okay, so that's that's a problem. The other thing we need probably is downwards thrusters to kind of pitch it. So you want upwards and downwards here. So it does this, and then the other way does that, right? That's how it will balance it. Um, yeah, because it's like it's like full out giving it back here, and it won't. It still won't push that nose down. But we're hovering too, right? The hovering thrusters are doing stuff. That's these guys. But that's because all four of them activate no matter what. So we're just slowly drifting back.
Okay, so we need more, more. Yeah, those are not. I don't really want to. Ugh, I don't want to. I want to put them. I kind of want to put them right where these gates are. I screwed up. Got to move these gates. Yeah. Okay. Just deactivate the thrusters on the opposite side. Yeah, well, no, they're not activating. That's the thing. They are, they're already off. The problem is I need, I need, it needs to roll. I mean, I could deactivate the, the ones that are giving it the majority of the lift, if that's what you're talking about. I'd have to have a zone here that's not giving it any lift. I mean, that's the other option too, isn't it? Or we just do this. No, you know, no, 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 what do we, no. Yeah, no, I want to keep that because I don't want to just, I don't want to mess with, um, yeah, I don't want to mess with the, the fact that the other thrusters are used. Really, I just gotta put them on top, don't I? I mean, I don't want to, but no, I'm just gonna put them here. I don't, I don't care. Don't care. It's gonna happen. Go like that and go like that. I don't want to move that logic gate because that's just a royal pain in the butt. But I gotta move that logic gate. So we can just make these all kind of flush. Whoops. Oh, that was the wrong one. God dang it. All right, two seconds, guys, and then I'll then I'll check out the good old chatteroo. Um, yeah, chatteroo is the new word of the day today. It's outside four, right? Outside four. Okay. One, two, three, four. And what do these guys connect to? They connect to this thing. Right, this guy. Okay, gotcha. Okay, and then we're going to do some stuff here. Okay, so let's put this guy right next to it so then it's out of the way. Con gaming, con gaming, con gaming. You didn't set one sensor on two blocks. I didn't? Well, these two are one block, right? And these are two blocks. These guys are one, though, because these guys sense this red. And then these guys sense the blue. It should be fine. Okay, so that's that. So this got to connect to everyone else. Except for those front four. And then same with these ones. Except for the front four again. And then same here. Wait. Yeah, no, it's inside four. Okay, okay. I, I thought I screwed this up for a second here. So it's just these ones go to here. And then the idea th behind this craft is that it should be able to fly itself with this kind of hookup. So we shouldn't actually have to have a person driving because it's sensing its own stability and it's adjusting itself uh, without us having to do anything. That's the theory. And then we can add stuff to detect, like, mountains and that sort of thing, because it'll run into mountains that are too tall. You know what I'm saying? You wish you were that good at Scrap Mechanic? Well, then just, you gotta play more Scrap Mechanic if you want to get good at it. Scrap Mechanic's, it's just one of those games where it's like, the more you play, the better you're gonna get. 
Um, okay, so like, really, we need four controls, four sets there. Actually, we're, we're gonna move these back. Should be one, yeah, we'll just go here. I know you don't need these logic gates. It, it's These are really redundant. You could connect all the thrusters individually to the stuff at the back here. I'm just putting these logic gates really so that there's less wiring going to the back and it just makes my life easier. Uh, so one of these will do the outside. These, This next one will do the inside up. Uh, this one will do the front down and this one will do the back down. So this one will do outside, inside, front down, and then back down. Okay. So outside, inside, front down, and back down, and then outside inside front down and back down okay so let's try this again round two so if we go pitch forward uh then we need to activate lift up in the front which is this middle one pitch forward is lift up in the front And then it's also down in the back. Doesn't really matter which one. We'll do the bottom ones. Okay, and then pitch down is the opposite. So pitch down is up in the back here. Or pitch up, whatever you, I don't know, whichever you want to call it. Up in the back, and then it's down in the front. Which is like these guys? Yeah. Very bottom one. Okay, and then left and right. Okay, I'm wondering if you're gonna do anything interesting like making the autopilot. Oh, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. You gotta have this is everything has to happen in steps. You need to have this is the stability controller, and we need the stability because now these gates become your stability control. And we can override them. If we wanted to. But we, we don't. But we could. But we're getting there. Don't worry. We gotta do... Everything has to happen in steps. Okay, and then pitch to the right means we activate right up, which is this guy. And right up, which is the this guy here. Yeah, and... This one would be left down. Which is that. And the other left down. is this guy yeah okay and then last one and then you guys can see how this all works so you're you don't have to complain about everything okay so this one is left down right down yeah which is good and it should be left up here which is this guy yeah and then on the other side same thing should be left up And it should be this one. Oh no, I'm late. What did I miss? Not much. I mean, we're just we're working on a stability control with a gyro type dealio. Should be that one, right? Yeah. So this should be good to go. Except nothing works. Perfect. So this should this should activate it to go up. This is basically the kill switch, that number one switch, but we're not actually going to ever use it when it's flying, and I'll probably get rid of it. Um, when you spawn this in, it's instantly going to go up to 20 blocks above the ground. That way the gyro won't get affected. But anyways, let's try it. Okay, so here we go. So as we...
pitch. Forward. Eventually the gyro will activate on it, you would hope. Okay. So this needs to be adjusted a little bit more. So that's one and two. See? So now we're level. Like pretty decently level. And if we add how do I how do I simulate this? Um Add a bunch of weight, I guess. Yeah, let's just let's just drag a bunch of weight on the back here, and this should simulate tipping this way. So see the gyro is constantly tipping this way, but as that sensor activates, it fights it and keeps us level. See that? There you go. Now we have a level hovercraft. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so then we're gonna do this. Now here's the cool part about this whole situation. Let's hook this into here. And let's hook this into here. Now let's get up into here. And then let's put, um, just for for the sake of testing this, let's just put a, um, a, a bearing here hooked into the steering wheel. And on this bearing, we'll just put some thruster stuff. Like this. I don't know, whatever. Where's my bearing? Right there in the middle. Okay, so here's the theory. This should now hover, no problem at any height, and shouldn't care because it'll keep itself stable based on that. So you can see it's adjusting every time it, it gets off axis. You'll watch, it gets off axis and then it'll instantly snap it. See that? It snaps it. Isn't that awesome? How do I make stable hover? Well, this one uses a gyro uh, and then just some sensors. But then, so we can hit two. We need more powerful hover thrusters. That's, that's a given. Okay, so the hover thrusters suck. And that's what, the outside ones here? These outside four? Increase you, increase you. Increase you, increase you. Uh, how to make a stable hovercraft. The bigger you make something, the easier it is. I'm going to tell you that right off the bat. The bigger and the heavier. So this thing with a big metal brick in the middle is, is actually a lot easier than you think to hover. Cool. Cool. That's a little too much on the hover thrusters. That's why it's bobbing. That was close. I almost hit the gyro, which would have caused catastrophic failure. Um, okay, we're good there. So then, let's see if if I tell it to go up to 200, how, how it reacts. go to 200 okay so we're going it'll go all the way up eventually see it'll slowly tip back because of the weight but we'll make it up to 200 in height once it gets there spamming for shadows everyone subscribe to con gaming get a free cookie i don't have i don't have cookies to give out Can you put this on the workshop after this is done? Yeah, but it won't be done in this stream. I'm going to I'm gonna do a, a bunch more work to it, like put engines on the side of it and everything else. But uh, for now, we're just we're laying out the basis for doing stuff. That's really aggressive on that gyro. So I can probably make this actually less aggressive. And that's these back four. Gotta make sure I don't fall off here. It is kind of nice, though, to have a platform like this that you can work on. Um, yeah. 
Whoops, that... Whoa, okay, well, that's part of the problem. These ones aren't even up at all. Uh-oh. Okay, thank goodness I didn't screw up the gyro. You can't jump into the gyro. That's like... It's like rule number one of using gyros. Don't jump into the gyro. And don't feed the gyro after midnight. Okay. Perfect. Side to side probably needs to be a little bit more aggressive too. Nope, they're both on now permanently. Still on permanently. Nope, that's bad. That's bad news, bad news, bad news. 12. Okay. That's those so those are way too powerful. That's the problem. It's it's um we're rocking the boat a little bit much here. Just just ch tune those down. Yeah, no, okay. Let's, let's come on. Tune down. Calm down. It's basically it's overcompensating and then undercompensating and then uh, we're just we're just going way too far in one direction. This is like it's like a, if you ever want to make a ship with simulated waves, this is how you do it. Can we can we can we chill? Oh boy. It's not gonna come down either. It's it's like gonna we'll just get a we'll just get a Brent batch flyer here, guys. But yeah, it's uh it'll never fall down now. It's it's gonna stay up there forever because it, it's really perfectly designed. I mean not really, but like it'll do that. Come here. Thanks. I just realized I can't delete this. Um Well, you know what? Actually, we can just do this. This, this is the best solution. Why did that just stabilize everything? That's weird. Okay, let's put it. Let's put it into a bad condition again, because I, I need to test that recovery. Okay, so there we go. Back into this terrible swaying position. Okay, so we need to we need to fix this. So let's just drop all these thrusters on the side. The roll control obviously doesn't need to be as aggressive as the um, the pitch control because it's not as it's not as wide as it is tall, right? So it's um it's pretty simple. So we can just lessen these guys. The, the key to making something hover is any thrusters that you use to adjust, like to adjust positions, to adjust height, to adjust anything, roll, whatever, they have to be weaker than the thrusters you use just to hold the weight. The majority of your thrusters are holding the weight, but they don't they don't have a variable power level. Because um, otherwise, if you have a really powerful thruster on a sensor, every it, it just gives it too much, and then it overcompensates and undercompensates, and it never stops, right? Yeah, it's stabilized because of the flyer, right? I would think. But it was weird because it happened as soon as it got welded. Do more brick rigs. I haven't played brick rigs in a while. Yeah, okay, so that's better because now it, it doesn't overcompensate as much anymore. See? And then forward backwards, we should be able to get a similar effect. Perfect. Okay, so this is like infinitely stable now. And it needs a lot of thrust to move it. So we don't have any movement, so we'll work on movement next, getting it to move. But right now this is hovering at 200 in height. We could put 250s on it instead. But I, I'd rather 200. Because I wanna, I need to save sensor movement for something else at a later point in time. It's 
It's pretty cool though. Right, okay, so we need movement. This thing's slow. It's way too slow. This is six thrusters on max, doesn't do anything. So let's work on let's work on movement stuff. Um and we'll just we'll just work on it up here, because like why not? Who cares? So movement thrusters, um we're gonna put like part of the engine pods, if that's what we want to call them. We're gonna need a lot of movement thrusters, aren't we? And a lot of reverse thrusters. So that was six, that didn't do anything. So we're gonna need like six in each corner, at least. That'll be one, that's only four, my goodness. How many thrusters can I actually fit across the front? Like, one, two, three. Like, what if I just do this? How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's 14. Are we tilting? Why does it, doesn't it feel like we're tilting? Doesn't it? The gyros level. Well, I guess we're not tilting. Feels like we're slowly getting closer to that mountain, doesn't it? Hmm. Maybe let's you know, let's just reset the gyro. Let's put it back on the ground. Get a chance to delete this flyer too. Oh, excuse me. I had to sneeze there. Silent sneeze. Okay. So we got this. Um, let's go back up to 200 because that's a cool height. And don't worry, there's not going to be... I'm not going to put a front loading ramp on this or a back loading ramp. It's going to load through the floor. So there's going to be like when it's hovering at the 20 height, that'll be its default height. And the whole floor will drop down and then you can get on it and then it'll come back in. And yeah, I'm using blueprint animated sensors on 100. And yeah, no, I... Uh, my airship or my thing, yes. What? What? Please, Con? What? Oscar has a YouTube chat? What? It's a cool height. Oh, show it. Show you the kitty. I don't know where the kitty is. Hi, kitty. Are you feeling better? She doesn't look like she's feeling better. She looks. The kitty threw up at the beginning of the stream underneath my chair. Coincidentally, as soon as I started stream. So we're just gonna let the kitty sit. Um. Because I want the I want the kitty to make sure the kitty's okay. I don't I don't want to uh, I don't want to stress the kitty out. Oh, hi, kitty. Hi, hi. She's like, what is going on? Why, oh, kitty? I love you. You gonna go or are you gonna sit? Are you gonna go that way? Don't turn off my computer, please. Oh, hi, kitty. Other kitty. Oh, yeah, hi, kitty. No, okay, you gonna go that way too? <laughs> Okay, bye. Okay, that's nice. Cats. Yeah. And now the cats get treats. This is going to be way too much for us. That's 28. That eh, might not be. You know what? Who knows? And we're going to have these hooked into a forward button. 
I mean, I guess that would make sense, wouldn't it? Okay, and then we'll do an identical line along the back. kind of cool that you can build on a platform that's hovering above the air and no matter how much weight we add the gyro will always be able to compensate for it as long as we keep the weight relatively even from front to back um the gyro can only compensate as powerful as the thrusters are right so we've got four thrusters to compensate for the gyro in any direction and so as long as we keep the weight i just screwed this whole thing up because i can actually no i can fix this we can just do it this way so as long as you keep the gyro at such a weight where um, you're you're not putting so much lopsided weight that it can't it can't overcome it with four thrusters, then we're fine. And if we did, then we could add more thrusters, but we're not even at max power yet on those ones, so we can always increase them too. But that's the beauty of it. So we're really just forcing the thing to balance as long as that gyro stays level. Now, of course, if I go and hit the gyro with the hammer, um, that'll cause a whole boatload of problems. So we're just not going to do that, but you could. Make a hover car that hovers on walls? I did that once. It didn't work out very well. Um, let me see if I have it. I probably still have it. It was terrible. It probably doesn't work anymore. It barely worked at the time. Uh, yeah, we'll just... Okay, we'll just send you back down to the, the last height. Oh, no, that was the wrong button. There, now it's at the 20 height, right? So the car that hovers on walls was this. And yeah, it, it does definitely, it definitely does not work anymore. It's, it's like a buck and bronco. Don't ask. It was supposed to work, never did. Anyways, let's go back up here. What? What's up, Core Games? Welcome to the stream. Can it please be an AI, please? This thing is going to be an AI, please, for sure, 100%. I mean, it's gonna you're going to have human control as well, but it's going to have an autopilot that you can turn on. All right, let's go back up again. Set that to two. Hi, kitty. You don't need to go outside, though. You're fine. It's really cold out. The cat, honestly, is, is the most ridiculous thing. So she'll complain at the door. She'll sit at the door. She'll scratch at the door to go onto the balcony. And then I'll be like, no, it's cold out. You don't want to go outside. And she's like, okay, fine. And then she'll keep scratching at the balcony. So finally I open the door for her. And I'm like, here, you know what? Like, just go outside. And then she's like, oh, what is this? I hate, I hate this now. It's so cold outside. And then and then you let her back in, and then five minutes later, she's like, no, I want to go out again. And it's like, the weather hasn't changed, cat. Like, the weather doesn't change in five-minute intervals. I'm sorry, but... And then she gets mad, and she looks at you like it's your fault. Like, like I'm the bad guy for causing such terrible weather. Like, what can you do? Cats. All right. I gotta blow my nose real quick. Oh, that was probably too much information, but that's okay. Okay, here we go. So, why are we not going up? My lift thrusters need more lift. added too much weight so the idea behind the gyro is now which i can hopefully show here no matter which one of the sensors in the corner is detecting the ground whichever one's detecting the ground will send all of them up all four corners and because the gyro keeps it level 
uh, that works. So if we accidentally go into like a dip on the one corner, the whole craft's not going to dip down because the other three sensors are still on good ground. Okay, so that moves quick. Into a tree. No, 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 I see, it can't, it can't adjust, it can't, it got caught on the tree. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, it won't, it won't adjust for that. Am I, am I actually trapped here? Okay. I need turning too. We need, we, do, we don't have any turning. $2 from Cookie250. Hey, thanks for being so awesome. Thank you for adding, thank you. Thank you for the $2 super chat. My goodness, guys, words today, so hard. Okay, let's go up. This is really slow now. Added a little bit more weight. Oh. Yeah, that's why you don't want to stand on the gyro. And I just set off the whole gyro. Which actually is funny because it, the, technically this sensor is not even detecting it anymore because I, I smashed it past the point of detection. Which will never happen when you actually use the vehicle, but you know, like, because we hit it. Okay, so we'll delete this. That'll go back to 20. Alright. Now it should go up to 200. Okay. It's a little slow. <laughs> what song is playing in the background? This song is called Runaway by Hallie Khan. Hal Khan Runaway featuring Val I don't know, here I'm just gonna I'm gonna copy the video URL. Here we go. Here you go. Background song at the current time, right there. You have a shout out. What's up, Oss? Oss? Is it Aussie or Oss? Have a YouTube channel? Hi, Kitty. Stop yelling at the door, please. You don't want out. Trust me. No, oh my God. Paint this blue and give it to Scrapman. Yeah, eventually, maybe. It's gotta be. It's gotta be a lot bigger first, though. Okay, we're still going up. There's too much weight on the front right now with all that stuff. So like it wants to tip forward a little bit excessively. So I should really I should really do this actually. One dollar super chat from Aiden Plays. Thank you so much for the super chat, Aiden. Really appreciate it. We'll just chop some of this weight off. Why are we bouncing now? Weird. Okay, we're good. Okay, so like, in theory... Three moves me forward. That's pretty quick. I don't like how quick that is. It needs to be slower. I want it to be more like... Like, transport style, like, nice and slow, methodical, you know. Probably still too much. Let's just take off another layer. Then we can have a nice front entrance there if we want to as well. I'll move these gates out of the way. But, like, this will just be for testing. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. Let's 
So let's see if we can actually see what's ha- Oh, goodness, I almost jumped in the gyro again. Yeah, so you can see only the back right corner and the back left or the front left corner are actually activate. Oh, no, don't fall. But see, this one's the only one that's actually activating right now. But when it activates, it triggers all of the corners to move up. And that way we kind of stay level, even though we're on uneven terrain, right? And then the gyro is actually working to keep us level. It's doing some weird bouncy stuff right now. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, it's gone. But I need to adjust, actually, the hovering is a little bit too aggressive now. I need to, okay, hold on. Oh, it is, it is two on the back. That might be part of the problem here. I think, I think I screwed this up. Yeah, this needs to be two. Okay, and then we'll go to the front. And we'll change these ones as well. Two. Okay, that was part of the problem. People are saying that you don't, didn't set a last thruster somewhere. Okay. Is it, is it all the ones that I just missed? Or is it like one of these ones? Pretty sure I set all these. I think, I don't know. Whatever, guys, it, it'll be fine. It'll be, it'll be fine. Okay, and then we'll do this. Okay, let's put some steering on this thing because we need, we need steering, guys. We need, we need priorities here. Okay, and steering is a priority for sure. So, where are we gonna put steering? Probably right here. Exactly where we're gonna put steering, actually. It's actually really cool because we can just kind of work wherever we want to now. It's just like, oh, look. Just kind of standing 200 blocks above the ground. Nice and stable. One dollar, one pound, one euro? What? What? What is that currency? Something, one European something rather from Victor Gustafin, Gustafsson. Holy cow, guys. My English today is bad. Sorry for pronouncing your name wrong, but... Thank you. Uh, guys, back left con. Back left. Those are right. It's up, up, down, up, up. Okay. I'm gonna check I'm gonna check all of them just to make sure. Up, up, middle, middle. Up, up, middle, middle. Talking about these ones in the front? Those are half. Those are mid. Those are half. Those are mid. Or one. Half, half. Mid, half, half. One, one from top, one from top. I'm confused. What did I miss? Did I did I screw some like really one? Oh, this one. No, that one's right. Yeah, because this one's half half. One from top. One from top. Half half. One from top. One from top. Half half. One one. One one. Half half. What? Am I crazy? Am I am I crazy? They're trolling me, right? Yeah, you guys are trolls. You guys are a bunch of trolls. Thanks, trolls. Thanks for being super trolly. I didn't think I was that crazy. I thought for sure I had it right. All right, we're going to do some steering now. So steering, we'll just put a... Uh, actually, you know what? We're going to do direct... No, we can do this. Yeah, we'll do that. Put one here, one here. 
Again, less wires moving around the ship, which just kind of makes everything nicer to look at. And then we need uh, forward and backwards. Which we'll do like this. We'll do like this if it wants to work. That would be cool. Okay, so we'll have to hook those up. So this one will go to here. And then like this. Okay, and then the front ones will hook up. Front one like this. And then rear. Whoops, not that. then front like this whoops okay and then rear I know this is so exciting guys it's just connection city I, I get it I get it I know everyone's all like oh my god why do you always have to connect stuff like when you're playing scrap mechanic all you ever do is connect stuff and like I came to watch you build not just sitting here making connections all the time and like all you do is make connections like come on man what what are you doing what are you doing this is not entertainment okay this is just this is just a load of hooey is what it is and like you should be better than that it's, this is that's that's my impression of everybody in in discord all right and then right uh, that's the wrong way we go to the right we need this to go this way yeah and this needs to push the front right Just download my blimp from the workshop and copy that one for the gyro. Yeah, if you want the gyro, I have one in the blimp. Um, it works pretty well. I also have a gyro in my cargo plane, but the cargo plane lags. I mean, the blimp lags too. They're both very laggy creations. But the blimp one works really well. Okay, and then front and rear. So if we go forward. It'll activate that one. And forward will also activate the other one. Can you make a vid on how to make a gyro? I mean, sure, if you want. They're not, they're like, they're not, there's a ton of them on the workshop. They're not really that complicated, but yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, really quickly, if you want to learn how to do it in two seconds, I can do an actual vid on it. But like, if you want to learn it in two seconds, I'll show you really, really briefly in case you missed it. I mean, you can always go back and check the beginning of the stream too. Um, can we, can we jump please? Thank you. But, like, really all it is is uh, it's two spinning discs, right? So the spinning discs have weight on them. And they're spinning in opposite directions. You can see that? One spinning one way, one spinning the other way. And they're sitting on this red platform, which is suspended between two bearings in one direction. So the red platform will tilt forward and back. And the blue platform is suspended the other way, so it'll tilt side to side. And then the four sensors around it just pick up which tilt it's doing. So the sensors on the blue pick up if the red's tilting, and the sensors off on the ship pick up if the blue's tilting. And then that's it. Then you just read the sensor positions. So this will always stay flat. And every time you see these thrusters pulse, that's actually because the gyro is tilted slightly, and it's stabilizing the whole creation. Rather than using an infinite stabilizer, you can use this. So it's all vanilla. We're not using any sort of glitches, per se. There's no, like suspension glitch or anything controlling the stability of this craft it's all based on the gyro positions <laughs> if that if that makes any sense that's how it works really simple stuff okay so now we're gonna we're just gonna hook up some basic controls for turning this thing like just four buttons So three should be forward, four should be backwards. 
we'll actually have controls at some point in time, but for now, this is all just testing purposes. And the reason we're using logic gate controls is because if we have uh, any sort of autopilot stuff, we can uh, we can tap into the same controls as if we do it with a person, right? You guys want me to hit the gyro? You want to see what happens if I hit the gyro? Probably nothing, because we'll put it out of sensor range. Ready? Here we go. Nothing. You know why? Because we hit it so hard it went past the sensor position. See that? So it actually it actually won't affect it at all. Say if we hit the inside one. Oh no, that one we put into sensor range. There. See? Out of sensor range. Oh no, we didn't. Nope, it's in sensor range. Okay, now the whole thing's gonna tip backwards. Uh boy. There we go. Out of sensor range. So it doesn't matter. But it'll stay in that position now. And we're gonna drift backwards slowly. So it like you can make it if you put more sensors. Oh boy. Uh okay, thanks. If you put more sensors on the gyro, like a line of sensors, then it'll uh you can make it so that it can't go out of any sort of range. So I believe the cargo plane uses two sensors to give it more of a range, because the cargo plane allows for a bit of tilt. Kind of try to make a replica of a car like a Jeep next. Yeah, not in this stream though, but yeah. But on the cargo plane it has multiple sensors. Um, to adjust for that so it can tilt a little bit this though is designed to stay perfectly level So it'll adjust itself before the gyro goes out of range is the idea Supposedly uh, so let's go up to the second height here, which is gonna be slow Which is fine. I want it to be slow Ugh. Ugh. Hopefully that means that this can if we um So my plan for this is to put like four kind of engine pod looking things on the side, have like a body in the middle, and like maybe like a um, a cockpit area on top, probably on top of the gyro in the back section, so it'll look kind of like a cargo freighter-ish thingy, I don't really know. But then the inside section, like the part where all those metal blocks are going to be, that's going to be pistons, and that'll go up and down, so when you're at the lower height, you can drop it down and get in the vehicle that way, That's that's the plan. Won't happen all in this stream, though, because we're already at two hours, and I still have um, a lot more control stuff to do. But this is really what I wanted to do in this stream, was get the control stuff figured out so we could have uh, this nice control system. Everything everything configured properly, right? That That's the plan, anyways. Okay, so I think we're at the right height now. Almost at 200 blocks. Okay, so if we hit uh, three, that goes forward. Four goes in reverse. A little bit of bobbing there. That's not too big a deal. Five should turn one way. It doesn't even. It doesn't. You don't even feel it turning. It needs way more turning power. Okay. So we need more turning power. Okay, so we'll put we'll double up the thrusters. I don't know if that'll be enough. Probably won't. Probably have to like do another set too. Probably have to triple them. But anyways, we'll see if that helps. I mean, it should it technically you're yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not gonna make any promises really. All right. This is where you know we could use modded thrusters because they have more power levels. But whatever. I'm not gonna use any mods on this build. I'm gonna go pure vanilla, just cause why not. And, uh, and then that way we'll have it. Alright, that's good. Uh, so five. Oh yeah, that's better. So see, this is cool. So as we drift the sensor over that pipe piece, the whole thing's gonna want to go up. If it sees it. I don't know if it'll see that pipe piece or not. Does it? No, it probably doesn't. Or, you know, let's use this cave as an example. There's a cave here. 
There we go. Now it sees the pipe piece. So as one sensor sees the cave, the whole thing will go up. So there. It's going to keep... The whole thing will still stay level, but it's hovering off that one point. And then we can go forward. All right, so we can drive now. I definitely need to adjust the forward, though, because the forward thrust seems to pull it downwards, which causes the gyro to not have a good time. Because if I let off the throttle, it'll stabilize. It should. Or it won't. Oh, yeah, no, that's okay. Yeah, nope, thanks. Perfect. We're just going to use this again. I'm going to need a mini flyer to get into it and over again. Can you upload the hover thing up in the workshop, please? Like this hover thing? This hover thing? I'm not going to upload this yet. Look at that. This looks so cool, though. Just sitting there. Yeah. Um, just have to, we'll just have to put this down here. See, the idea behind 200 in height is that it will dodge terrain, right? It won't. Okay. Okay, I, I hit my mouse. Hold on. Hold, can I can I get back here? Do you do a channel review? I mean, I, I haven't. No, ever. Like, of someone else's channel, you mean? Or are you talking like like one of those compilation videos where I, like, go through all my own videos and go, oh, here's my top picks or whatever. Yeah, the side to side on the gyro needs some work. It's too, uh, it's too twitchy side to side still. So I need to lower the side to side thrusters for roll control. It's too twitchy on the roll. That's why it's doing this. It's a stream thing? The channel review is a stream thing? Is that what you're talking about? I'm confused. You guys have like five conversations all at the same time, and I can never figure out who's who's talking about the same one. Come on, Con, please upload even if it's not finished. I want to ride it and give it a remodel. Well, I want to I wanna add a bunch of stuff to it first. Everyone always is like, I want you to upload your creation so I can finish it for you. And I'm like, but I want to finish it, and then I'll upload it. Like, I, I don't know. That's Maybe that's just me. I'm going to also drop these down because I feel like we have too much power we don't need. And we're also pulling it down, so I think we need less thrusters on the top. Nope, that's not good. Okay. Just making sure all these are here so chat doesn't go, oh, you missed one. Okay, okay. Put a WASD converter. Yeah, no, no, we'll get there, we'll get there. It's a thing where streamers review their fans' channels. Oh, like on stream, like live? I mean, I could do one, not like right now, but I mean, if that's something you guys are really interested in, I guess I could announce it and set up a thing. I don't really know, like, what advice I can give you, though, based on your channel. I mean, the only thing I can really tell you is that, like, you know, persistence is key. You gotta put out a lot of content if you want to get anywhere. And, uh, the more work you put into your content, the higher quality edits, stuff like that, then the more people are gonna notice, right? Yeah, the side thrusters drive me bonkers. Well, that's pretty... Actually, that was a pretty stable recovery there. Just It just turns too aggressively now. It's got way too much turning power. Oh, my God. I'm so... I'm so... It, look, it looks so cool up there. 
And I'm down here. Oh, man. I am... Okay, before we finish stream, though, I want to do... I want to do one more thing, which is, one, put an autopilot on it. I'm not going to put, like, a manual control pilot yet. I know everyone... You want a WASD converter and stuff. I mean, I, I guess I can put one of those. Gotta get the stupid flyer off here. I can put a WASD converter in the back, because we'll need one of those eventually. Oh, what the heck is so laggy there? Whoa, 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 what happened to my frame rate? What? What? Why are you lagging? You're lagging on the lift. Okay. Interesting. 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 Um, hover ship. Do I have a creation already named hover ship? No, I don't. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna quit this world real quick because uh, apparently it's like dying. I don't. I don't know what the deal is there. Let's see if the it come comes back in still dead. No, it's fine now. Weird. Don't know why that was so laggy. Stream's okay. Huh. When will I stream Factorio? Soon. I don't know. Ish. It's plain. Yeah, no, I did I did save the creation. Don't worry, I got the creation saved. We're good there. And yeah, it's playing because I haven't done any aesthetic stuff to it. I'm just working on the... This is control stuff. All the metal block that I'm standing on right now, we're going to remove and put aesthetic stuff on it. That's the eventual plan. Um, eventually... Ow! Oh, you guys probably heard that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everyone wearing headphones. I bonked my head on the, the thing. Because I'm just... Hold, yeah, hold on. Ugh! Jeez. Ah, I'm gonna clean up the rest of this stuff. So part of the adventure with the the cat puke is you gotta spray some stuff down and then you gotta wipe it up like an hour later or whatever. So anyways. Okay. So that's that. Uh, I need to fix the, the side to side. Because it sucks, right? Side to side sucks. Is it better now, actually? Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, cool. We're gonna do some stuff on the lift now. <laughs> Over that field. I better grab some more water, though, because I need more water. Because my throat's, like, dying from talking too much. And then we'll probably stream for, like, another, like, I don't know, 30 minutes-ish, 45 minutes-ish. Um, I'm gonna grab some more water, though. So I can not die. And then, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to put some autopilot on it. And then we're going to put some mountain detection on it. So, like, collision detection on the front. So as we're, as we're moving forward, it won't smash into stuff. Um, should probably put some collision detection on the back, too. That would probably be a good idea. So we're just going to, we're going to put this up on the wall here. And then we'll put a, we'll put a little bit of a lip here. Just so we don't accidentally fall off while we're working on it. Keep the front open. There we go. Now we can work on it a little bit safer. Okay, I'll be back in two seconds.
Okay, we're back. 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 Everybody, everybody leaves. I'm sorry, stream. Girlfriend was asking questions again about house stuff. It's my life now is house stuff. Two billion years later. Listen, it wasn't, okay, it wasn't that long, okay, guys? Listen, we gotta, we gotta keep the church and the village and not exaggerate everything. Okay, so, we need detection stuff. I don't know where I want to put it. Kind of thinking like that. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna do that. And we're gonna go like this. And we're gonna go like this. This is actually, these need to be longer range sensors, don't they? We're gonna, if we're gonna, if we do short range sensors there, we're gonna run into a wall. Like if they're only 20 blocks long, that is not giving us a lot of time to avoid a mountain. Eh, you know what, we'll try it, who cares? 20. 20. Twenty and twenty, and then we're just gonna angle some stuff inwards. Oh, you don't need my face. You need a cat cam. Yeah, I know. Everyone, everyone just wants a cat cam. My, my one cat actually is sleeping on my winter coat right now. The other cat, um, not as much. I don't know where she's at. Somewhere. I don't know where. Okay, so that's that. And then we're just going to hook those into a controller. Which, I mean, we have this controller here. But I think I'll put them in a different one just so it's easier to maintain. Which ones do what? So, one... Two, three, and then four, four, and then these will just be 45 degrees. So let's hit the kill switch. Good. 20, good, reverse, 20, when it's 100% done, I'm going to design uplift so we can put our own design on it, I mean, I, I guess, but like, I'd, I'd rather, I want to do my own design too first, and then maybe you'll see, there's, there's more that I'm adding to it than just autopilot hovering around, that's the thing, but I'm not going to tell you guys what else I want to add to it, because it's a secret, and I'm not going to stream what, stream that either, because I'm going to, do that in my own time and then you'll be like oh this is why he did all the autopilot stuff because it's gonna be cool i use mods when needed but won't use glitches when needed i mean i guess it depends on what the glitch is put a lift seat glitch thingy so you'll fall well why i don't what what why Is it just me or does everyone who, or does everyone also like smaller channels? They act more like themselves and less like how the viewers want. I mean, I guess it depends. Like the thing with the thing with YouTube is like, if you want to be a successful YouTuber, in my mind, I've always been a firm believer of like, you got to be yourself no matter what. Because if you want to, if you want to try and convince people you're someone you're not, then fine. But like, I mean, then you're more, an, I, I don't know, an actor, I guess. I guess, you know, you can call YouTubers actors, but like, I don't really consider myself an actor. I make videos for for people to watch and I stream but um, you know like uh, it's it's more it's definitely easier if you're yourself if you want to try and constantly be like somebody else it's just so much more difficult but I mean maybe that's just me the only thing that I wouldn't do normally in in real life is I wouldn't introduce myself to people 
as con number one and number two i wouldn't always say the same thing before and after i end every like video and stream right like you know at the beginning of every stream and video you have your like catchphrases if you want to call it that but i wouldn't do that obviously in real life anyways um so this is some sensor stuff do hickey majumner stuff so we're just gonna put like sensors in the corners for these guys so these are gonna be like corner detection which will go to these guys okay so this one or this one this one or this one and this one or this one and the front one Uh, this side, that's right. Don't want to hook it up over there. Okay, there. So those are like collision detection guys. Should be enough. So how that's going to work, we should probably actually put these more angled outwards, I would think. Okay, so how that's going to work is really quite simple. If you are... Yeah, these are going to be that. Okay, cool. We'll need we'll need separate controls for people later cuz the collision detection has to override the person. So that'll be here. And it needs a bunch of not gates. Yeah. Not not well, nor I guess. It's pretty much the same thing. You could use a NAND gate too, I guess, or an XNOR, but uh, so this goes like this, this goes like this, this goes like that, and this goes like that, and this goes into here, and this goes into there, and this goes into there, and this goes into there. Okay, so here's what we want to do. If you detect something on the back left, then you want to go forward and to the right. Forward. Forward and to the right. And if you take something on the back right, you want to go forward and to the left. So then that should hopefully turn you away from it, right? You know what I'm talking about? And then uh, if you detect something in the front left, you want to go back and to the right. And if you detect something in the front right, you want to go back to the left. Okay, and you're allowed to go forward as long as you don't detect anything on either of those. Is that right? You're allowed to go forward and you're allowed to go in reverse. Although this is going to probably work for either of those now. Whoops, I need a NAND. Because now if I detect something here. Oh, no, I screwed that up. Sorry, I need to put these on another ore gate. My bad, my bad. Don't worry, I'll get this. So basically what we're doing is I'm making it so that um, you can't... You can drive normally, but you can't override the, uh, the emergency... Oh my god system which basically forces you into certain spots okay so these like we can remove these buttons we've got too much stuff going on here guys this is getting ridiculous we'll get up here remove this stuff okay so the idea behind these is they're going to basically stop us from running into objects potentially So, either front, either left, either right. Just do this again. There we go. Okay, so either front is these two. 
either back is these two either right is these two and either left is these two we need a scanner well i have a scanner i have a radar if that's what you mean like i did this a long time ago which is kind of cool and then i put it in an actual car and i put it in a submarine but this is this is a scanner if this is what you're talking about i could mount this to that um yeah I don't remember how to turn this on. How do I turn it on? Is there an on switch up here? No, there isn't. Which one is it? Where's my on switch? Oh, this one. There we go. Oh, whoops, it's backwards. There you go. I mean, it's kind of off-calibrated, because this is not calibrated with that. But those are multi-range sensors which are scanning objects as it passes them. Except it's off, because you see it's it's lining up with the wrong side. But yeah, so that's, that's what that is. And then I put that in this. Which is going to lag. So there you go. That's a radar truck. Right? Drives with radar. True story. Go look it up on the workshop. Alright. Well, let's finish up this auto detection stuff. And then I think I'm going to end the, uh, the stream after that probably. If we can drive towards a mountain and have it turn away from the mountain. We'll see if it does that or not. Um, okay, so if you have either front. Then you can't go front. Either left is that left either left then you can't go left either right then you can't go right and either reverse then you can't go in reverse and then we'll connect these up to the actual controls so these would be connected into your your wasd converter Right? Okay. Problem solved. Good. Alright, so let's wait until this gets up to like 200 in height so we can actually go over some of the trees. Why is fast chat on? Well, it's it's seven, it's seven five seconds per person. One dollar super chat from Aiden Plays. Thank you so much for the super chat. And shout out to Jonathan. What's up, buddy? Whatever happened to the hover train? Um, lag happened. Lag killed the hover train. Like many, many other products in Scrap Mechanic. They pro products start out great, and then they get to a certain size, and then lag kills them. So I'm hoping I can make this big enough to do stuff, but not so big that lag kills it. We'll get up there eventually. It's, it's relatively slow to ascend. I might have to change that. Might have to speed that up a little bit, but we'll see. Hover City, again, another one of those products where lag happened. Hover City was great. I, like, working on individual platforms was no problem. But then as soon as you try to put them all together, uh, the game, like, died. And it just became a lag fest. So I was like, well, I can't really do that anymore. Please take off my hat. Wait, you want to see my, my crazy, my, like, Justin Bieber pop hair? Look at this. Look at this. Ready? Ready? Here we go. This is why I got my hat on. This, look, look at this. This is my Justin. Okay, here we go. I need a haircut, guys. Look at this. Look at, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, let me see if I can, can I, can I get it? Let me just style this here. Let me just, let me just style. Okay. Okay. Is that better? Is that, this is what, this is what people wanted, right? This is my, this is my, look, I got the bald spot here too. This is like me getting old, bald spot, and then no bald spot. Look, I got luscious, like, Justin Bieber locks on one side. And then I got nothing over here. It makes me look like I'm trying to grow it that way on purpose. But honestly, it's just it's just because I'm balding. Right? Look at that. It's very itchy. This is good. Okay, so we're going to stream. Okay, so this is good. So uh, we should be able to turn here. We need a mountain. Can you notice me, please? Uh, hi. 
Harry Jones. I notice you. Okay, this is good. This is good streaming. It's good streaming quality. Yeah, I'm balding. Yeah, just on the one side of my hair. My hairline's... It's not really balding. My hairline's receding. Alright, let's go find a mountain, shall we? Because we need, we need one of those to test this stuff. Oh, nice, we're just driving forward. I feel like there's a mountain up there. That's good. We might actually be going too fast to uh, to test this stuff. Let's turn. Actually, let's turn to the left. There's a big mountain there. Bring the mothership back. Yeah, that's kind of what this is. To be honest, this is eventually going to turn into the mothership, but like not lag because the mothership was already laggy and it wasn't even halfway as cool as this. It's going to be like the hover ship. See what we did? See what we did there? Pretty good. Okay, so as we get close to the wall, if we just like let it drift into it, it should fire up the reverse thrusters when we get... This is why I'm thinking we're going to need more than 20 cents of range. But it should fire up the reverse and fling us away from the wall. Oh, oh, we're actually going past... See, we need longer than 20, 20 sensors. 20 sensor range. It's not long enough. Because the sensors are basically seeing the wall and just lifting up on it. See, it's pushing me backwards, which is good. See, it won't let me go towards it. But then it wants to, it just basically goes up over it because now the sensor's trying to sense 200 off that mountain. Which I guess is what you want it to do. That's kind of cool actually, isn't it? Alright, let's turn this way. Okay, this is actually starting to... There, I can see again. Isn't that amazing? Get all my hair back away. Ugh. I need to get my hair cut, guys. You leave for an hour and he's already turned emo, I know, right? Like, it's, it's bad. I should make it sense the skybox? I mean, maybe. I was thinking about that, putting thrusters on the top, or sensors on the top, and so when it gets close to the skybox, it'll drop itself back down. But like, right now, technically speaking, I think I need to adjust that, but it should automatically steer us away from stuff. Like, if I try and go full speed into this, it should just, it should steer me away as soon as I get close. Yeah, it takes, see, it takes too long to react. It did it. It steers me away, and now it's sensing the half pipe, and it wants to, like, hover 200 blocks above the edge of the half pipe. But if it was a little bit further away, then we wouldn't hit stuff. If they were 50, instead of, instead of... Oh, 20. Okay, hold on. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go blueprint edit the, this right now. It shouldn't take me too long because they're just four sensors or eight sensors that are range 20, right? So let's see if we can do this. Hover ship. Let's see if I can do this without crashing my game. That would be the big thing. Okay. Da, da. You guys won't be able to see what I'm doing because I don't capture my screen. I capture my game, so you can only still see my game, but don't worry, it's easy mode. Brent Batch could explain it to you. But basically all you're doing is you're searching for keywords within the blueprint file. Range 20. And then you're changing the keyword from range 20 to range, let's say, I'm gonna try, try, try range 50. Range 20, so this is number two, becomes 50. Range 200, no, I want that one. 20 becomes 50 range 20 becomes 50 i hope i really i really do hope i don't crash my stream here okay range 20 becomes 50 again oh crud i have a bunch of range 20s oh that's okay i'll be able to adjust them because i'll be able to see which ones they are range 20 range 20 
Basically, the blueprint file in Scrap Mechanic is really just a giant text file that stores every single block, every single ID for the block, what it's connected to, where it's positioned, what its rotation is, what color is it, and then all the parameters that are associated with it, and that makes up a blueprint. So when you're blueprint editing, all you're doing is changing the values within the blueprint file without actually... Yeah, cool. Change it all. So you're changing the values within the blueprint file outside of the game, so you're, you're doing it on your own. So I just changed it. So now my 20 range sensors should be 50 range. But I'm going to change these ones back, which I think were the inside ones. And see, it sets the measurement to 1 because it really doesn't know what the heck to do about it. It's like, this, this measurement is not right. And you're like, yeah, I know. But the thing is, if you look at the sensor... See how I looked at it, it instantly resets it back to a sensor parameter that you can give it in the game. I think that's what worked, right? Inside ones were 20, outside ones were 200. Yeah, see now it's it's steering, it's trying to steer away from all the stuff. See, that's what it's doing. That's why it's moving. It's trying to steer away from the half pipe because it doesn't want to touch it because it's within 50 blocks of it. That's kind of cool, actually. That's, like, really cool. Okay, so let's hit 2. And we should go up to 200, unless I screwed this up, in which case we're only going to go up to 50. Is it a tried moving 50 blocks into one? It's paying because you have to do them all manually. Brent says no, copy paste. Hover off sky skybox. Yeah, eventually I might I might add that to this, but not not today. I think this is this is pretty good though. I think we've got collision detection now. So like, let's try going straight at this mountain here. Uh, five, no six. There we go. So now if I go straight at this mountain, it should override my controls and turn me around. Which it hasn't done yet. Oh no, there it did. It just didn't it didn't react fast enough. 50 blocks is not that far. See? There. So now it's trying to turn us away from the mountain. So as I push towards it, it's just fighting me. I, I'm literally I'm giving it full throttle forwards, and it's every time it sees the mountain, it pushes me away and it turns try and avoid it so it might occasionally hit stuff but overall it should work and then now because it's ridden the sensor up on top of the mountain ridge it's actually going to go up so it's a it's a hovercraft that doesn't use any glitches but will hover off pretty much any terrain oh trees are a bad idea though yeah no it doesn't like trees that's for sure okay except except trees trees are going to be very hard to dodge Yeah, because see, it's going to try and avoid every tree. I might have to drop the avoidance at some point in time, but really not. Am I making the Fortnite bus? I mean, no. It kind of looks like the Fortnite bus, I guess. It's going to be a hovercraft with an autopilot, but for now, it uh, it looks like a Fortnite bus, I guess. Alright, let's get back up here. Wait, you just realized. What did you just realize? Then make it hover over a tree? I mean, yeah, it's at, it's only set to 200 right now, though, right? So that's the thing. You're not subbed? Really? You're a mod and you're not subbed? That's amazing. How'd you manage that one? What playlist am I listening to? I'm listening to just uh, all NCS uploads. Not any particular playlist. I just have all the uploads set. Oh, my goodness. All right. Yeah. 
That's sick. It just activates everything to, to pull you away from it. That's so cool. I mean, I could just put, like, more of an array. Right now, there's, like, literally in each corner, there's only two sensors. One at an angle and one that's straight on. But we could put, like, a whole ring of them and have them all hooked into the same system. And, uh, and then no matter what, whichever corner it detects, it'll just automatically adjust. So that's probably how we avoid trees. But look, we're just hovering over this. And then it'll drop down eventually. Once we go off here. That's so cool. Do a radar. I mean, I could. I might, I might put a radar on this eventually at some point in time. But anyways, guys, I am going to end the stream here because it's been two hours and 45 minutes-ish. And uh, I do want to go and get some more things done today. I got some stuff to do and, uh, you know, I want to I wanna deal with that. But yeah, I, I, I'm pretty happy with the way this is. There's a lot of stuff it wants to do. Obviously, this is just the basic platform. Uh, eventually, I am going to put some aesthetics on it. And I do have a few surprise features. Oh, goodness, it started lagging again. Um, I have some features that I want to put on it. That I don't really want to talk about because um, they're a surprise. But you'll see them eventually when I get this thing finished in a video. It's going to be cool. It's going to be a lot of cool stuff that it's going to do. Uh, but it's going to take some work. So I want to make sure I do it. So possibly uh, possibly radar maybe. Probably not radar though. But uh, definitely something kind of cool. And uh, this is becoming laggy. And this world is terrible for some reason. But I think it's going to be pretty cool. I think you guys are going to like it. Uh, if you guys want to guess what it is, you can post in the comments down below when this becomes a video. You know, let me know what you think. If you are watching this as a video and you're you're asking me why it's only the last two hours, it's because YouTube hasn't processed it yet. Every stream, people always ask, why is the video only the last two hours? It's because YouTube hasn't processed it yet. Um, it will eventually. No, and I can turn off shadows too, but uh, I mean, it's just, it eventually just gets worse and worse and worse for some reason. Uh, as it's currently trying to dodge everything. But anyways, guys, make sure you guys hit those buttons down below. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Thank you guys all for the super chats. Uh, Mr. Dia, Dia Danny, I think I might have missed that. But it said, do another workshop, Hunters. Uh, I can talk to Scrapman and Komodo about that and see what the deal is. Maybe Mubo too. But uh, make sure you guys hit those buttons down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed those stream. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.